right, today we are going to learn about cybersecurity with Jeff Heyman of Regent University. Jeff, how's it going today? Doing very well. Thanks for having me, Zach. Cybersecurity is a huge buzzword. It is. Um, people are worried about you know, their personal information, their business information. Mm -hmm. What is cybersecurity and, and why should someone care? As it relates to business, is anything on the net that can affect your business, steal your data, compromise any information you have on your clients? So something that might relate to people more recently, uh, they see is that their credit card now mm -hmm. has a chip instead of the swipe. Yes, PCI DSS, that's Payment Card Industry to, uh, Data Security Standard. That's all the card issuers got together and they have trying to lower the incidence of credit card fraud. Now let's be honest, the reason they're doing that is because they're on the hook for fraud. And the way they do that is they've gone through these chips which have an added layer of encryption to them. And how does that protect it? It makes harder to steal, but more importantly, if a client, a customer, uses that card at a vendor, uh, issuer, your business associate, well, if there's a fraud in that, if the business associate, the, the uh, business, let's say it's Acme Automotive, sure. is using a swipe as opposed to the chip, mm -hmm. and wherever that card is drawn from, whichever of the two has a lesser security is financially responsible for reimbursement. So that's the whole gist behind this thing, is to try to lower the incidence of credit card fraud, but it also takes the major issuers off the hook. How, so I think everyone as a business mm -hmm. agrees that cybersecurity is something that mm -hmm. is extremely important, mm -hmm. but how much should a company be investing in making sure that they're gonna be as safe as possible? Excellent point. Let's say you have $500,000 in operating expenses. You're a small to medium company, 500,000. Well, if you have a compromise where you have social security numbers and you think you, maybe you sell HVACs, why would you think you have that? Well, if you sell HVACs, you probably extend extended warranties. That's through banks. Um, there's credit with that and they generally have social security numbers with that. That's called PII, personally identifiable information. If that is compromised, a person's social security number at your HVAC company, Acme HVAC company, mm -hmm. there are laws that govern that. You may be on the hook to give recompense to those people who have lost their identity if they can prove they have been harmed by that. But an easier solution for a business is to focus on backing up their data. And if you do that and you encrypt anything, if you have like credit card information or PII data, mm -hmm. you're probably doing much to help your security in that respect. So encryption is easy for you to understand, but for the layman, what is encryption and how could someone implement it? Um, you can go online right now, say, give me top 10 free encryption software algorithms, and there'll be little software packages. Yeah. And you could download them. And you can also get a hardware device, it's like a storage area network or a hard drive with encryption on it. You can even turn it on with some of your operating systems. So what if I'm using a payment gateway like a Stripe or a PayPal, they do all the work for me, what, do I need to do it too? You're, you're fine, because unless you are actually typing in someone's social security number, you don't have to worry about the credit card transactions. Are you writing down their credit card information and keeping that in an Excel file somewhere? then you would have a problem. But a person just doing the swiping or the chipping, that's built into that chip, that right. encryption. And so uh, let's go back to the, mm -hmm. the Acme company, mm -hmm. uh, half a million dollars. Yes. But what percentage should we be going after? You know? I, would, I would be uncomfortable saying 1% of my operating expenses is spent on securing my customer's data. I would be uncomfortable saying that. So in the 500,000 realm, so that's $5,000. I could be jumping between five and 10, I can do that, because I would be able to explain, you know, I have a storage area network, or I outsource this to Acme Super Duper Cybersecurity sure. Company. These are the processes we do. We encrypt all PII data. I'd be comfortable saying that on the stand. I would not be comfortable saying, well, I don't know how much we do, or we don't have any backups whatsoever. Or you mean Mabel at the front office types in the customer's social security number? Those would be bad answers on the stand. Sure. So practice and make sure that you're putting people's lives in the yeah, right place. Because you, you do have, that's due diligence. They are your clients. And if you have personal identifiable information, I mean, how would you like it to be stolen? We all have, by the way. Sure. But um, just a, a little due diligence, ask the smart questions, and don't ever be afraid to call your attorney, call your accountant, and you should have a list of emergency numbers, and guess what? Your ISP, internet service provider, should be one of them. Not just the electric, mm. not just the, you know, the emergency guys with the defibrillators and stuff, or the firemen. You need to probably have the ISP and electrical company on there as well. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you.